sleeves rolled up. Glasses are centered. Ladies and gentlemen of the RPW Network, today is a KR day. And today is a rise day being kicked off of the highlight of the night. GMK going up against Luka Novak. GMK, of course, the first and only superstar that is fully contracted to rise. However, that could change after this match. If Luka Novak loses, he will join GMK on a, on a permanent contract here on Rise. A new attire by GMK here on Rise. Looking absolutely fantastic. This one on the way. And Luka Novak wants to make sure he gets off to a winning start, it seems. And not join GMK here on Rise. This is also a winner advances towards the Network Championship. The Network title held by Charmander is doing a similar thing as the IC and World Heavyweight of World Wars and Fury, respectively. Where... Over the next couple of weeks, there will be a multitude of matches. We're seeing a lot of them today, of course, to ultimately find out who will be the next number one contender for the RPW Network Championship held by Charmander. This is the first one where the winner will get one step closer to being number one contender. GMK, love the new look. He makes yellow look good. The black and white as well. Looks absolutely fantastic. Of course, we have two title matches later today. The undisputed YouTube championship being defended by Street Money against JC Brooklyn. And RK defending in the main event against FTN Colm. What a day it's going to be. Look at Novak. Big slam down on GMK. There's also on the RPW now going to be a dark match. Which is going to be between Disciple Drew and RK. So extra content on the RPW Network. Okay, of course, not 100%. Not 100% with that back. We'll see how he does here today, though. Sure to be a tough one. A jam-packed rise show. That is, for sure, some really entertaining and fun matches. GMK, the highlight of the night. If he wins, Luka Novak joins him on rise. We know Luka Novak is a big fan of Friday Night Fury. He wants to prove to himself and the RPW Universe that he can be a world champion. He can make it on Fury. He agreed to GMK's clause, though. If GMK wins, Luka Novak joins him on Rise. And so far, it's not looking good for Luka Novak, who's been in a bit of a rough patch recently. Oh, nice reversal there, though. Beautiful reversal there. Luka Novak setting up. Super kick to the midsection. He holds on. Face first goes GMK. Ataxia connecting. I believe that's the Ataxia released. Rebecca there for the pinfall. To count on GMK and a kick out, ladies and gentlemen. Close call for Luka Novak there. Average whip. Rebound. Nice hip toss. Rolls through. And a brutal Novak knee down low. GMK back up to his feet now. Right handers from Luka Novak connecting. And he's wrenching that arm behind the back, but GMK with the elbow. Across the face and a running knee of his own. To take down Luka Novak, who has to roll out of this one. GMK with some offense. Soon to be potentially up there with RK, the Rise Man, as they call him. As the face of Rise. GMK, of course, he's now a full member of Rise. RK's not a full member of Rise, but he wants to make Rise his show. He wants to make Rise the A show, an amazing show. And he's been doing well as the junior heavyweight champion, defending again here today. We'll see if GMK can... Potentially get uh, close to that junior heavyweight championship. Maybe first the network title. As he's in a match to advance here today. Rebecca is counting. RK is drinking. Luka Novak is reversing. Kind of six by the referee. GMK thrown into the steel steps. Luka Novak in the ring now. Kind of seven. And GMK pops up. Just in time, kind of eight back into the ring. Oh, he's still not into the ring yet. Now he has kind of nine, but GMK back into the ring. Luka Novak is stunned. Oh, a kick off the springboard middle of the ring on the logo. Beautiful by GMK. He's going for it again. No, he's not. He was going over to the corner. Did not quite make it, though. GMK rolling up. Luka Novak. Oh, on the ropes. GMK with the south one nine. The kick connecting. GMK goes. To the top turn buckle. Knee drop to the face. Luka Novak's down. Shoulders on the mat. Respect, integrity, strength and effort. And that's what Luka Novak is showing right now with a kick out at two. 
after that big move by GMK. Kick the midsection. A stunner connecting. That might be the cherry on top for GMK. Another pinfall, another two count. <clears throat> another kick out. GMK is fired up though here. Here in London. GMK, big move after big move after big move. He's waiting for Luka Novak again. Oh my goodness, connecting. Good night, Luka Novak. There's only so many two counts you can have. One, two, and three. GMK now has another full-time member here on Rise. And that man is Luka Novak. The former Intercontinental Champion will be leaving Friday Night Fury effective immediately and joining the Gold Show on Wednesdays. GMK advances one step closer to the Network Championship. Well, what a way to advance on Rise with some triple threat action. Disciple Kaiju and Kilro in the ring ready against the man of the hour. He's recently returned to in-ring action here in Regents Pro Wrestling. Three cruiserweights ready for this one. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen. None other than Bowd, the hottest free agent in RPW right now. He's not on either show. He can appear on any brand. And here he is on a Wednesday on Rise. Bowd's looking good. Bowd's looking strong. Bowd's looking ready, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, he is one of the stronger of the cruiserweights, that is for sure. He's been absolutely dominant since returning in his first match. Let's see how he does here today in a triple threat cruiserweight action against the Sample Kaiju and Kilroy. He can really make a name for himself if he can get a pin over that man's awful tired Disciple Kaiju. Of course, Bouts made it clear here he is very much on Team RPW, ladies and gentlemen. Here he is going straight after Kaiju. Who gets a reversal off the rip with a suplex. Has him up. Not strong enough to bounce with a reversal. On the low down chop block. Kira, of course, also in this one. Nice Hurricane Rana there. Down goes Kira uh, Bowles. Leg drop as well. Pin four broken up by Kilro. Kilro thrown out of the ring. Bowles and Kaiju now. One on one. Inside the rise ring. Big strength by Bowles. The thing is with Bowles, he's a cruiserweight. But his entire move set, his entire arsenal, as you can see right now, he's he, he, he's very much a a heavy hitting cruiserweight. He's not a high flat. He's not a jumping on the ropes, left, right, center. And not every cruiserweight needs to be. People think, oh, you're a cruiserweight. You have to be a high flyer. You have to be jumping from top of ladders and doing corkscrews and moon salts. You don't need to do that to be a cruiserweight. You just need to be under the weight limit, which Bouds is, to be in the division. He's a very hard heavy hitter. And knows how to show off with the RPW universe. That's for sure. Kilro into the corner. Valds looking tight. He takes him up to the top turn. Buckle Kilro, nice reversal though. Maybe get some momentum now. Springboard. He got caught by Valds and a Bulldog. Nice move there by Kilro. Valds moves out of the way. Kaiju on the outside is taunting. Valds was going for him. I thought it was going to go for a springboard there. After all the talk about not being able to springboard. Bowd stunned in the corner. Kill run Kaiju. With the lockup. Kaiju, no. Not dumped over the top rope. He's reversed by Kilro. Oh, standing cutter on Bowd's. As it rolls out. Kaya Kilro. Going to go with him. Triple threat, of course, means anything goes. As Kilro goes for a microphone. But it drops it straight away. Doesn't want anything to do with that mic. Cover on the outside. It is full scan anyway, of course. Kaiju breaks it up though. Bowds with a run. Oh my god, I thought he was going for a power bomb. He just throws Kiro on the outside of the ring. Goes for the pinfall. Kaiju over on his way. Doesn't even get a one count though. Kaiju rolling out. Bowds is setting up. Middle of the ring. Oh, Kiro fighting back though. Going punch for punch. Arrow trip. To the corner. Kaiju still on the outside. To the ring. Bowds trying to roll against blocked off by Kiro. Kaiju and Kuro playing ring around the rosy. Standing cut by Kuro. Oh, I would love to see Kuro get a win. Oh, Kaiju rolls out the little slimy, slimy, slimy bum. Arrow trip into the corner. Nice drop kick. Lock up. Arrow trip. Off the rope. Ducks him. 
Oh my god, he was flying. Was kill row, but he missed. Bows. Back in control now. With a left-handed closed line. Bows to the outside. Going after Disciple Kaiju, potentially. Powerbomb on the steel steps. Kaiju might be dead after that. Bowds goes for the pinfall on the outside. One, two, and three. Bowds with a pin on Disciple Kaiju. That powerbomb off those steel steps. Got it done there. The referee was calling for medical support for Disciple Kaiju after that. He threw him like a running powerbomb almost. Onto that bottom steel step. Bowds is still 100% in RPW. He has returned guy. with a bang, ladies and gentlemen. And rise with more cure bombs. There is Disciple Key. Oh, Fredo goes for the leg of Disciple Key, ladies and gentlemen. Before the match, the bell has not been rung, remember? We knew it was Fredo versus Key. The winner of this advance is one step closer to the network championship. Both desperately need a championship. Of course, Key Abbasson is the randomizer title uh, champion, but he wants a belt with a bit more prestige than the randomizer title. As does Fredo. And Fredo giving back against the Cure. We know the Cure love to cheat, love to rig, love to manipulate. Key in the ring. It gets thrown straight back out. Fredo top row. There's no referee right now in this matchup. Is this match going to be called off? Is a referee going to make their way down? I don't know. I don't think the bet has been wrong, though. Between these two, nice DDT by Fredo. The battle between RPW and the Cure really starting to take shape. Right now, these two Friday members, of course, Tyler Howard versus Nico up next. Two World Warzone superstars. The Cure v RPW. There's no... Fredo pin, but... There's no ref, ladies and gentlemen. We need to get a referee down to the ring. If something's going to happen. What, what, what's going on here? Oh, Fredo with a FaceTime. What a move. Middle of the ring. There's no referee, though. Oh, the Emperor's Bobby's run down. Ah, no way, ladies and gentlemen. She's kind of the pin. One, two, three. Fredo wins. The Empress runs down out of nowhere. And Fredo advances. There was no referee to be seen. A FaceTime got hit. And a quick count by the Empress. One, two, and three. And Fredo with a big win over Key Iverson advancing. What have we just seen? We know they have an alliance together. We know they've been friendly together. Fredo and Bobby before. The Women World Champion. They've been managers for each other before and stuff like that. We know Dawn. Dawn very recently we've seen her with a little Cure armband. Hopefully this is Bobby's way of saying hashtag fuck the Cure ladies and gentlemen. I am not involved Nico. Making his way down to the ring and a Tyler Howard doing exactly what Fredo just done to Key Iverson. This is another network title match. They're all network or advancement matches. And now Tyler Howard getting involved. Out of nowhere. Do we have a referee in the ring? There's no referee again. Where is where, where's Ron? Where are the referees these days? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I don't really know where all of the referees are. Nick of East Tyler Howard. The bell hasn't even rung in this one. As these two be the ever living, living hell out of each other. Two World Warzone superstars. Two former champions. Nico starting off strong, even though Tyler Howard had that interference. Power bomb by Nico. Beautiful. Beautiful power bomb. Nico in control of this one. Tyler Howard back into the ring, as is Nico. Both superstars, middle of the ring. Tyler Howard with a reversal. Tyler Howard now taking over face first. Goes, nigga, who's this running in? Oh, it's Disciple Zeke. What is he doing? Pinfall. One, two. Oh, my God. What is going on? This is going to be the most scuffed episode of Rise we have ever seen. Two quick counts. Tyler Howard. I think for the first time in season three. I don't remember seeing the last time this guy's... Celebrated, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on? First, the Empress comes down with a quick count. Then Disciple Zeke comes down. Listen, I, I know we talk a lot about RPW versus Cure, ladies and gentlemen. Something needs to happen. This is getting so... Uh, this is interfering with Rise now. More so than other shows. Absolutely shambolic. 
ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely sham bot lick. What we are seeing between the... When's it going to end? It's going to end up ruining pay-per-views at this point. Main events, World Wars and Fury Rise, everything it's getting involved in. I can't believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move on. I, I don't know what else to say on the matter. I don't know what else to say, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we are moving on to the Panama match of the show, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be one of the quicker rises that we've had. Thanks to the last two matches, we do have the dark match between RK and Disciple Drew as well, of course. But we go, ladies and gentlemen, a backstage brawl, a street match between Street Money and JC Brooklyn for the Undisputed YouTube Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, both superstars will look to knock out their opposition here today. As soon as you KO your opponent and they are unable to fight, that is when you are declared the winner for this street fight, ladies and gentlemen. I believe a first ever in RPW. Fighting backstage. Anything goes. Anything that you can think of is legal, ladies and gentlemen. JC Brooklyn. Getting things started with the clothes on. There's tables. There's chairs. There's ladders. The infamous light where we know about freshy sibs. And more, ladies and gentlemen. All accessible. All welcome in the street fight to find out who really is the true street champ. Money going for a chair. Potentially he's knocking over all the chairs. Money's going on a walkabout. Don't know where money's going. JC Brooklyn joining him. Still chain the hand of Street Money. Big chopper across the chest. Right hander connecting. And another one. No, this one is reversed. These guys fighting in the production area right now. Very dangerous for these two. Street Money. Nice face buster. This match can go anywhere backstage. It can end up anywhere. And anything can go. There are tables everywhere. There are bit, literally anything you can think of is accessible, ladies and gentlemen. And that is what these two are doing. There's a hockey stick on the ground. And Street Money going to make full use of it. Remember, the added stipulation, not only is it for the Undisputed YouTube Championship, but also it's for the street name. Street Money debuted as Street Money. We've always known him as Street Money. JC Brooklyn joined RPW, tried to call himself the street champ. And Money was not happy with that. He said, put that on the line. If you lose, you are no longer able to call yourself the street champ because you are not the street champ. I am the street champ. Street Money spine buster through the table. Goes JC Brooklyn. Absolutely. Bro this is awesome. Chance, ladies and gentlemen, JC Brooklyn fighting back, though. Not giving an inch in this one. No pinfalls, no submissions, no referees needed for this. So hopefully we won't see any of the cure getting involved. Brooklyn fighting out of that grapple from Street Money. Irish whip. Money goes. Oh, he flies. He flies off that deep, steep step. JC Brooklyn looking fired up, ladies and gentlemen. Looking fired up. Indeed has Street Money up on his... Oh, my God. He throws him back of the head off that... What it was? Chest? I don't know what you, could, what you actually call them. Street Money damaged those super kick. And JC Brooklyn... May very well... Never mind. I was going to say may very well be on his way to being YouTube champion. Oh, where's money going? Where is money going? Oh, we've seen Lamin and Sims be up here before. Street Money's calling for him to get up. He joins him up there. Dangerous. Very, very dangerous, these two. Street Money fighting back. Money in control. Irish Oh, watch out! Street Money. Oh, my God. He falls just before. Flying off. Right hander. No. Nothing home. Kick to the midsection. I can't take my eyes off of this match. We still have the main event to come. Down goes JC Brooklyn. Money looking to go one step high. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this, ladies and gentlemen. JC Brooklyn in a hot pursuit. Street money saying suck it. This is a throwback. We've seen this. All and too many times. Oh, big super kick. It's off. It's open. It's aggressive. And anything is possible. Street money. Oh, he gets reversed. Street money. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Street money got reversed. Oh, street money got sent through the line, ladies and gentlemen. Josie Brooklyn joins him. How is this match not over yet? Street money straight back up and he's fighting. 
How? He just got put through the light that ended Sib's career. Right hand is by JC Brooklyn. Super kick to the midsection. Oh, famous hitter. The street champ. I'm going to call him the street champ because this might be the last time we can actually call him the street champ. If he loses here today, he's bloody. He's busted open. Street money. Back first goes JC Brooklyn. He's flat out. I don't know what's going to end this. If Street Money has not tapped out, given up. With that right there, I don't know what ends this. JC Brooklyn with Street Money gets reversed. There are boxes, tables, suitcases, everything you can imagine. Right there for the taking. JC Brooklyn taking Street Money. He's trying to take him back up. He was trying to take him back up. Go for twos. With that light. Back and forth they go. Brutal between the two, that's for sure. JC Brooklyn, where is he taking? He's trying to go in the elevator with him. He's trying to go back up, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on? Street Money now. Irish whip. He gets reversed against Street Money into the... They're going back up. Oh my God, they're going back up. Why are we going back up? They, they, they just both walk out like nothing happened. Like nothing ever happened. Brooklyn into the... The barricade. The, the I guess it's a barricade. What are we doing? There has to be some health and safety eventually. The elevator is dinging and binging. Stream on, he's looking for something. Oh, he's getting down. Thank God. Thank God. Don't want to be messing around up there anymore. Stream on, he doesn't want to fly off anymore. Stream on, he's going on a walkabout, ladies and gentlemen. JC Brooklyn left up there. I don't know if Stream on is calling it quits. I, I don't really know what's happening. JC Brooklyn coming down through the lift. And I don't really know where Street Money's going right now. He's going to the garage. Street Money's going to the garage. The half and half screens from Brett, ladies and gentlemen. And what is going on here? Street Money? Oh, they both fly into each other. No. Street Money maybe tricking JC Brooklyn all of a sudden to join him down in the garage where some RPW superstars and staff have their cars parked. They're both fighting by this car now. The exit is right there. JC Brooklyn taking over. No street money. Getting back in control of this one. He's going towards that black car. Into the door goes JC Brooklyn. Big boot. And they called it. The big boot got it done, ladies and gentlemen. JC Brooklyn says, I quit. He gives up. And street money is still... The undisputed YouTube champion that was by the car. And I think JC Brooklyn sort of had thoughts of, I don't want to be smashed into a car right now. I don't want to be involved with this car right now. JC Brooklyn says I quit. Street money is still, still the undisputed YouTube champion and JC Brooklyn will have to vacate his own nickname, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it is time for the main event of Rise, ladies and gentlemen, for the Junior Heavyweight Championship. FTN Colm gets his opportunity here in the main event. And look at that amazing stage. I heard a Neutron is coming. For FTN Colm. Massive opportunity for the big man. Former Grand Slam champion of Fred Nafuri, of course. And this could be a way to get his career back on track with a big win over RK here today. I love this Tron. I love the vibes. I love that FTN is back, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, back to his best. Colm ready for this one. Big opportunity. Sleeves for Colm. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Sleeves day. rolled up. The double champion. Day. RK. He's a bit bandaged up. He's got his vest on. And he's coming to the ring. With suited and booted Ben Fuller. What an attire. It's so good. To have RK back in an RPW ring. The Rise Man. Back on Wednesdays. Showcasing both championships here today. The junior heavyweight up for grabs. 
One off the RBW Tag Team titles, which everyone wants right now as well. Lovely looking Junior Heavyweight Championship. Suited and booted Ben Fuller. Love the Titan Tron. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, what a gargantuan main event. Cole knows how to win a championship in his time in RPW. That is for sure. And that is what they're fighting for. Ring that bell. Oh my God, he's really bandaged up his RK. And Cole needs to target that back. My kick by RK early doors. Love this black and white tire. Sleeves rolled up. He's flexing already, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, RK back in a ring. I've missed him. I really, really have missed RK. He's one of my favorites to watch. The, the matches that he puts on has been amazing. Cole fighting back. Though. I, I feel like both of these are going to give 100%. Both of these are going to give 100%. It's going to be an absolutely fantastic matchup between the two. Of course... Main event Fuller, ringside, the number one contender for the RPW Universal Championship. Big forearm by Comb into a curb stomp. Down goes RK. Comb. I thought it was going for another springboard then. Back into the ring. Respect, integrity, strength, and effort, ladies and gentlemen. The Rise logo hanging in the balance and. RK really respects Rise. First pinfall by Comb. Could we see a new champion run? Taking his time just a one count and a kick out. Yeah, RK really respects Rise. Really wants Rise to be the best it possibly can be. And what a what a championship reign he's had as well. I think it's had like almost 80 days now. It might be around 80 days. RK fighting back. Nice combos. Ben watching on. RK going with it. Neck breaker. He's got to watch that back, though. He's got to watch that back. Set up for something. Knee drop missing. Combs looking good, you know. Combs looking fresh. RK said there's no excuses here today. As long as there's no shenanigans. It's a straight one-on-one. -on -one. It doesn't matter about his back, if he's bandaged or whatnot. No excuses. The best man... We'll walk out of this match. The junior heavyweight champion. RK. How many defends? Let's quickly do some research. Again, I should always do these before. 76 days. Or 77 days, sorry. As champ. Three defends. This being the fourth defense of his career. Not too bad at all. Especially since he's... Only just become a full-time wrestler. You know, he spent... The entire of our 90% of RPW being a general manager, being a commentator. He has not had as much training or much time in the ring as some of these other superstars that have been doing this for years now. Some even longer than others in the indies and abroad. RK is still brand new. He won Breakout Superstar of the Year last year for a reason. A three-time tag team champion, a junior heavyweight champion. In only 50-something matches, it is so, so impressive as FTN Calm goes to the top rope. FTN connects. Fuck the noise. Ben Fuller head on his hands. Hooks the leg. On RK. Ben Fuller clapping saying fair enough. But RK kicks out at two. And this one continues. Calm in the corner. Maybe taking a bit lightly on the commentator. RK breaks up. Oh, Claymore connecting. What a brutal Claymore as well. Hooks the leg. One. Two. To retain. No. A kick out at two. What a claymore that was. Combs head bashed off the floor. RK busted open. And Combs has been dominating the majority of this match so far. RK look at the fight back. Ducks him. Spins him. Neck break again. Watch that back though. Every time he lands on his back. I get nervous for him. Love the white and black attire. A claymore has connected. RK parading come around on his shoulders using that strength. Even stuff like that, lifting up someone hurts your back as well, though. You've got to be careful with it. RK has come in the corner. Brutal shot. The knee to the face. And RK's brutal. Dominance takes over. Cole was about to roll out. I think RK knew that. That's why he hustled to stop him from rolling out. RK venturing up. Somewhere he does not often go, ladies and gentlemen. We don't only really see RK going top rope too often. He's going for an elbow drop and connecting, though. 
Lovely elbow drop. He goes for the pinfall. I thought it was going to go for a finisher. Using the feet on the rope. And Cole manages to kick out. Referee didn't see. Oh, RK has him up on his shoulders. He squirms out of it, though. Cole squirms out of it with an uppercut. RK forced to roll out. Colm, though, in hot pursuit over the top rope. What a leap by Colm. And what a main event here on Rise. The London crowd absolutely loving it. No shenanigans. No interferences. A sold-out crowd here in London. And they're getting their money's worth with this main event. As Colm takes over on the outside now. RK needs to fight back. To get into this one. Back in the ring is RK. And Colm is going to join him. Back into the action. DDT, no. Oh, he's working away on the ribs of RK. Oh, slams him. Back first. Nice reversal there. Oh, RK. Big knee strike. I thought he was going for a claymore then. Big knee strike connecting. Colm is down. RK. Working away on the arms, on the hand, on the wrist. Limb by limb. And RK saying it might be time. It might be time. Colm rolling out. RK stops him again from rolling out. Again, more limb targeting from the rise man. Colm holding on to that knee. RK now fully in control. Once again on those legs. Colm bending half. Ben Fuller watching on. Colm's down. Colm's down. I'm not looking too good. Knee drop by RK. Connecting across the forehead of Colm. RK flexing once again. Don't get distracted though. you got to keep the onslaught going. When you're on form. When you have momentum. You don't allow a brutal knee strike. What is RK going for? Oh my god. Knee to the back of Colm who flies out of the ring. Brutal. From the junior heavyweight champion. And Colm, I think Colm, I think Colm might be busted open as well, ladies and gentlemen. He is indeed. He, yep, yeah, he is indeed busted open as well. Back into the ring, though, off the ring post. Goes Colm. Okay, now potentially looking to get him back in the ring. Count of six, I think the ref. Count of seven all of a sudden. Count of eight. Count of nine. These need to get back into the ring. RK makes it, and so does Colm. Oh, my God, just about. I thought we was going to get a, a double count out there. RK would have retained, but they both rushed back into the ring just in time. RK with a big chop and a big Inziguri. Brutal matchup between the two. RK going for a pinfall off that Inziguri. Colm, is he under those ropes? Ron did not call it. He kicks out a two, though. That is the effort and the integrity. Of the Rise logo. In the corner is Colm. Okay, hanging him from his feet. Dangling him in that corner. Colm fighting out. Four are missing. We have flying through the skies. Kick missing. Now the Superstar able to connect fully. Oh, the Pele kick connects. Down goes RK. Colm hooks the leg to be new champion. No. A kick out of two. And Colm can't believe it. I can't really believe it either. That he managed to kick out. Backbreaker. From Colm. On RK. One, two, and another kick out. How on earth? Colm focusing on that lower back of RK. Very smart. But somehow he's managed to kick out again. How on earth has Colm not become junior heavyweight champion? With that backbreaker. That's reversal there. Colm getting some momentum now. It started as all Colm. RK had a long strain of momentum. And now it's back to being Colm's turn. Oh, he's going top rope. He's going top rope, ladies and gentlemen. I thought he was going for the FTN. Apparently not. What could he possibly be going for? Colm for the top rope misses. He misses, ladies and gentlemen. RK. Not really taking over. Instead goes for a spine buster. Middle of the ring. Lovely reversal. RK going to the corner. Handstand. Into the clothesline. His new move. That I've seen him be getting wins recently. One, two, and three. And what a match between the two. 
Ladies and gentlemen, his nose might be broken. And still, your junior heavyweight champion. What a match, ladies and gentlemen. What a match indeed. Fab FTN Cole put him to the limit. I think that might be the, the best junior heavyweight title defense we've seen. Cole done amazing. Back and forth action. Cole went top rope. Again, top rope, it's such a risk or reward. Either you hit it and you can win or you miss it and the tides can turn. Big win by the Rise Man.